also just a note guys do slide into my dms like <laughs> it's fine <laughs> just come <laughs> my handle is Every day, I wake up feeling beyond blessed to proudly say I have you in my life. Being with you has taught me to love myself even more and to appreciate what you see. I want you to know that I have and always love you in all your pain, in all your blackness, in all your queerness and in all your glory. Three, two, one. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Mo. Landa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Cheers. Blah. Yeah, go back to the sodas. Oh. <laughs> Did the publicity of your relationship negatively impact your relationship? Not at, I don't know, not at all. Not at all. We were very good at like setting boundaries, mm -hmm. like, okay, cool, we're gonna shoot, this is what we're doing, and then this is like work, and yeah. then there's relationship time and there's us time. Um, and even the love that we were getting, like the comments and stuff were really positive, mm. so I didn't, yeah, I don't think there's any negativity. From my side, I didn't see any negativity. Were you in a public relationship? I guess, yeah, and you know, it's funny because I think when we broke up, I didn't realize how like popular it was, the relationship, right. and how, so it was kind of like a little scary to find out how people kind of consumed mm -hmm. the relationship. Okay, so yeah. I remember speaking to her and I was like, I don't know, did we lie about something? Because people really, I think they kind of put us on this pedestal and so I think when we were going through a breakup I think that was I was really scared of that because yeah. people had been and when I did say when I did share that we had broken up the messages I was getting were so overwhelming it was like yeah. people that couldn't like read the room yes people yes. telling me they're so heartbroken can yes, we get back together and it's like Yo. Oh my gosh, I went to go get groceries <laughs> once and the teller, I mean, like bless her soul, she was like, Mo, I'm so sad. And I was like, why are you so sad? She was like, the breakup. I was like, how guess is he? <laughs> right? <laughs> you upset about the breakup. Hey, I'm on the floor. <laughs> you know what I mean? I remember standing in a queue once um, with somebody and <laughs> like, they were like, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I know you, I know you. And I could see, I can almost see how disappointed people almost are when I'm with other people. Oh wow. <laughs> you know, now I kind of have to manage that as well. And we don't know each other course, like yeah. that. I mean, so. I left the willies cry. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm heartbroken again. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> if you could erase every memory with your, e with your ex, would you? Oh, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be able to, I yeah. wouldn't want to yeah, I agree. erase anything. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like I was telling my sister earlier, like everything, there are like the bad that happened, yeah. but I'm also very grateful for like the journey, the love journey. Yeah. There were good, but like great experiences. So exactly. I think same. I don't think I would. I, I think for me, it's always like, knowing even if I knew if I had to go back and I'd know how it ends I'd do it again yeah, like well, over great. and over again yeah. thank you yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> hashtag no regrets yay <laughs> <laughs> love that fuzz what would you warn your ex's next partner yeah. about dating them Ooh, child. I'm so glad I didn't get that one I'm about to drink <laughs> I ain't saying nothing not public service no uh, <laughs> You, yeah, you have a duty to... Balom Lom. <laughs> That's my duty. Okay, I think it's your turn. <laughs> Woo, I can't get my stomach. You look burning up. Oh, my stomach is on fire. When and why did that spark die? Hey, why am uh, I Why am I Um, You know what? 
how do I put this? I guess so for me, it never really felt like the spark died. Okay. It just, for I think for both of us, felt like this is just what we need to do now. Because we could almost see us turning into people yes. that we on that wouldn't really honor the relationship and the friendship we had and i think the concept or the idea initially was like we wanted to protect the friendship mm -hmm. um and so it was a lot of back and forth and with that back and forth came a lot of like just now it's fine it's now it's not cute and it's not pretty so for me i never i don't feel like it was the spark dying um it was definitely that if we don't this is just not the time. Yeah. And so that's why it was such a difficult breakup for me. Because I couldn't say that I'm no longer in love with you. Yes. Um, it yes. was just, oh, your shit. If you don't mind me asking, how long were you guys together for? Uh, we were together for, I think, about almost two years. Okay, wow. And we were living together and stuff. So it was a lot of, yeah, it wasn't just like, yeah. sharp, I'm going to block your number. Those things like, oh, come and get your box. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? You know, that's like stuff like that we're constantly engaging and like, she's obviously a part of me moving out as well. And uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So it was very painful. I think I definitely felt like I lost. It felt like I lost the. It is a yeah. loss. Right? Yeah, it feels like, like you like it's does physical say, pain. It is a loss. Like, mm. like sometimes I'd be like, oh my gosh, like why is it still hurting? She's like, do you realize you just lost someone? So mm -hmm. you're mourning them. You have exactly. To the relationship. It's over. It's done. Like you guys aren't seeing each other. You're not speaking. So exactly. And you have like, to go through the stages of grief as if you lost someone. And that is like the hardest thing because it's like. Uh, you know, now you guys have to put like boundaries in place and there were so many times I just like immediately just want to get on a call and say, yo, of course. right? And I think for me, the wildest part was that after the breakup, so much had changed in my life. I literally landed my dream job. Like, and these were all of the things we kind of spoke about mm. and things we were planning together. And so those, I remember <laughs> my boss, my, so my first week at work, and I was on this deadline and so I was just kind of like lost in it and I think the minute I submitted I was like oh my god I'm going through a breakup and yeah. I just sat at my desk and I was crying and my boss walked past me and he hadn't seen me we hadn't met yet because he hadn't been around mm -hmm. and he hugs me and he's like you've made it you know and I was like sir if you don't stop the whole thing I'm about it. I am going about to it. fall apart yeah. in your arms because it was like those moments where I was like yo that thing we spoke about, that it's happened. Um, and like moments in her life, I was like, oh, you did that. Yeah. Um, so that was, I think that was the hardest. Of course. So, yeah. Okay. What has healing from your last relationship looked like for you? Ooh. Pouring into myself and oh, just loving myself again and just rediscovering parts of myself that I felt like I had lost and I'm mm -hmm. not because of my previous partner mm -hmm. I think I just let things go so falling in love with myself again has been so fun like okay. and so healing and going to therapy and seeing my friends again seeing my family and just reconnecting with people a friend of mine said this the slower the slower you move the quicker you return home so oh, wow. I realized so much how um, I have tried to run from away from myself for so long mm. and how I think I've kind of the way I love has always just been because I can't love myself like that I'll just pour it all into you yeah. so the journey for me of falling in love with myself has been very confusing and very like it's a difficult ugly journey, right? and like uncomfortable it's very very uncomfortable it's, it's very you know difficult. it's beautiful exactly but like, in its beauty it's just it just has so exactly. much like just oh I Oof. get it. So yeah, yeah. Now I finally feel like I'm here now. I'm like, girl, I like you. Yeah, you're cool, man. You can hang. I like, like you. I, I like you. Chill. Like you. <laughs> so this is like, I think now I'm in that phase. Where I'm like, okay, I like myself. I feel like mm. I'm even almost becoming selfish with myself, where I just don't want to say, share my, myself. Yes. Um, you can say no to space I can that say you no. feel like you're not comfortable yes. occupying without feeling exactly. guilty. Exactly. And I don't know. I just. I think I'm in a phase where I'm just kind of trying to be my own boyfriend and like show all of that to myself. Okay. Because oh my gosh, I'm such a great like partner, hey? 
like <laughs> i can see i can feel it it's raining so much i am well. amazing so i'm so like beautiful. i really feel like i'm top tier like i really do that thing well and yeah. so now that i do it for myself i'm like I'll now you sense. know exactly like that. what to be with me exactly yeah. Yeah. and how i want to receive that um mm. so yeah it's the last question mm-hmm. If there's one thing you could change about the way your relationship ended, what would it be and why? I, I would, would wish you a drink if I had that question. <laughs> this is actually very easy. Okay. I thought it would be so difficult. Educate me, sis. There's a lot of things I wish I could take back. Like a lot of things I said. Oh, okay. okay. A lot of things in moments of being triggered that I said, that I did, mm. that I don't want her to live with mm. and internalize because a lot of the things I said weren't the truth. It was anger, it was abandonment, it was a lot of things, and so I did a lot of reacting. Can I ask get this question? <laughs> Can I ask this question? <laughs> I want my ask this question. <laughs> yeah, I think I that's always the one thing I that really um, hurts me and breaks my heart. Because mm. you know when, you've, when your ex has said so many things to you and you're like, and you live with that and you internal and you yes. take that into your next relationship and you're like wait am i this am i ugly am i you know so a lot of that that i don't want her to have to live with because i'm like you know when it was great it was fucking amazing yeah, yeah. um and i would do that again yeah. with all of the bullshit yeah. and all yeah. of the Imagine. like traumas and the bad things i would do it again i would choose her like that again it's so easy to resort to anger and mm-hmm. be like if this if that like this is what they did wrong and like just put yourself yeah. on the pedestal but to be like you know i take accountability like exactly. i was wrong i said this and i said that but i still love her i still think exactly wow wow yeah it's beautiful also just a note guys do slide into my dms like <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Just come. <laughs> My handle is. I'm kidding. Because <laughs> people are gonna be like, I like her, but yeah. But she's like, love my ex. Love my ex. <laughs>i guess i mean i've seen my ex like out like mm-hmm. when i would go out with my friends and stuff and i'm no longer angry or sad i'm like oh you're here you're occupying the space cool i'll see his pictures on instagram and be like oh you're doing this so like this is great mm. so i'd like to I, yeah i know i think i've moved I'm moving on because it's it's a process like sometimes you'll see things and be like oh my god you're on the floor like lord why (laughs) and then after you're just like you know what like bless his soul bless his journey yeah yeah I'd I'd say yes I don't know have you moved on girl I (laughs) I (laughs) speak your truth but don't cut block yourself Um, I do feel like so I do feel like I've moved on I think the reason why I'm so hesitant is because I found out like last week or like two weeks ago that I've really struggled with letting go of the idea of us Mm. and that's where I'm at I think I'm definitely moved on where I'm open to people Mm -hmm. I'm open to what that could be I'm happy for you me I'm always gonna root for you you know Mm -hmm. Um, but then I struggle with sort of like a lot of those other waves and layers, the um, the idea of us, the concept of us, the friendship, yes. the familiarity, yes. um, that just like it works. Um, so those are like moments I've struggled with, but I do believe and feel like I am moving on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's <laughs> I hope that you receive the amount of love that you radiate. You are literally like (laughs) personification of love. (laughs) So I hope someone can give you that love and I hope that you'll be able to receive that love. Yeah, that's that's all I hope for you. I love that. For me, it's pretty similar too, but I hope that you just get someone who is patient enough and kind enough 
you know, mm. to kind of go through all of these different things. And mm. I just hope you get someone who's a safe landing for you, mm -hmm. um, always. Yeah. And just I'm such an emotional baby. <laughs> so I'm just like crying. Oh, always, just <laughs> always. And I guess just always choose you mm. through it all, no matter what. Just always makes that decision to choose you because you deserve that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Defining Breakups. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think you learned from this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and join us over on Twitter using the hashtag Defining Breakups to let us know if we finally gave you some closure. See you there. Thank you for your candor. So you now I have to go to drinks with someone after this. Yeah. We should go for drinks. Yes, girl. Ah, Cheers. Mm. Look at the real dates happening after this. <laughs> What's your poison? Hate. Tequila? I'm a, I'm a black label gal. Me too. I love. Hey girl. One thing we have in. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>